Carolyn Wells is coming up next. Woo! <laughs> Carolyn is a wedding and portrait photographer based in Phoenix, Arizona. She gained her taste for photography as a child and first formally developed her interest and photographic skills in a high school photojournalism class. A lot of us start in photojournalism, it sinks. Um, shooting for the yearbook. In college, she loved perfecting her darkroom printing skills, but gained degrees in biochemistry and environmental science. Wow. She loves connections, feeling connected to everyone, including our Earth. And she was quick to adopt digital, but slow to adopt Photoshop. She prefers to capture the movement, connections, emotion, and composition on location. Sounds beautiful. Carolyn, welcome to the stage. Hi. Uh, I expected to introduce myself, and I'm so glad that happened to Doug. <laughs> um, so I'm here to talk about a living legacy, and what that means to me is a life history of a person. Uh, what we do today is we're capturing the present moment. Um, we're recording a moment in time as we see it, um, but we're missing the stories behind those people, and um, that's what defines who we are right now, um, that history behind the person. And um, we're wedding and portrait photographers, um, we can tell a story with that photo, but unless it's a storytelling image, um, we may not ever, it, it's not as timeless necessarily. So we have, we have tools for capturing, um, I'm going to catch up here because I'm really <laughs> talking too slow. Um, Living Legacy is about making a DVD, uh, oral history, recording them with video, recording their audio, um, but it's not about getting good at video. It's just, we all have iPhones. We can use an iPhone. We just need to talk to people, get them to talk back, transcribe it, write it down, add that to our portrait sessions, add it to our weddings if we want to. Um, I think of my grandma. Um, this boy here, um, if his grandma was to pass away tomorrow, he would adore this picture as he's growing up and seeing that, but he's not gonna know the stories behind his grandma. Um, and if we can do that as we're shooting portrait sessions, offer this as just an extension of what we offer as photographers. We're in the perfect position to do it uh, with the tools that we have, the multimedia that we're learning about um, that's just coming at us so quickly and we're all integrating already. It's just an amazing opportunity for all of us to add back the stories, the oral history that we've really lost. We don't do a lot of that. Um, so here, um, not a very artistic image, but this bride lost both her parents within a year. So this becomes an invaluable photo to her. But at the same time, um, it's not as invaluable 100 years from now because it's just a photo of people we don't really know. Um, if we want our images to be timeless, what if we added the stories of those people behind it? Um, because we pass down the stories. Um, and we pass down... Um, a lot more. So I actually kind of got this idea in high school. I did an oral history interview of my grandpa as a history class assignment. I learned that he tipped over an outhouse with a woman inside. I would have never known that about my grandpa. Um, he managed to get a horse into the back of a car. Um, so to do this, we have products that are totally ready to go. We can transcribe, put it in beautiful text with our images, with their images, their history. We can help them gather it, put it in there, give them a DVD, full story. We can condense it into a beautiful presentation with some audio music of their best um, quotes. Um, this is about really seeing your client a little bit more than um, what we do, uh, or doing what we already do, but just taking it a step further. So we have still images. We might need to up our audio in input, figure out a little bit better there. Um, video, create that multimedia slideshow. Uh, be a storyteller. We're already storytellers. It's really just taking it a step further and at least doing it for your family. I mean, can you imagine what you would learn about your family? Um, this is my grandma, and she's actually like a third parent to me. She, I lived with her for a year in high school. This is all back to high school for me. <laughs> um, she's still, this is taken about a week ago, she's running a carpet installation business. My sponsor, Bentley and Carpet Installation. Um, and I cannot wait to um, actually interview her. I have not done this. Um, 
and she has an amazing story to tell. I know some of it, but I'm sure there's just so much more. And just imagine the treasures that we can uncover. This is a basement. Um, it was a 70s basement. It's pretty amazing with orange shag carpet. But slides in there. Um, people don't touch this stuff. Let's give them a reason to touch it again. So everybody has a story. Let's help them start telling it. Let's start telling our own. Getting it into words and just adding it is one more piece of the pie of what we do. So I think that's it. So thank you.